What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to be installing some footwell lights in my Corolla. So these are Vaunt footwell lights. All right, so as I was saying, I got some footwell lighting for the Corolla. So these are very simple, easy to install lights. They literally plug into the cigarette lighter of your car. So, and this comes with four LED strips. So you can put, you can put two in the front and then two in the back. So that way you get underglow for the whole car. So if you have a coupe, I mean, you just have to probably double them up in the front. So that way you don't have extra lights for that. So, and like I was saying, this literally plugs right into the cigarette lighter. Super easy. You don't have to splice into anything. And they kind of show you a little diagram of how you are going to wire it up. So hopefully you have like a cigarette lighter somewhere in the center console. That's where we're going to plug it in. And then you'll just run two lights to the back seats and two lights to the front. So, and also too, with that, I mean, if you guys have a dash cam or anything like that, you know that you probably won't have extra outlets. So I also just went on Amazon real quick and I bought this real quick. So if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, I'll be putting links down below to all this. So let's get started. All right, so hopping in the car, um, you're gonna wanna figure out where you're gonna wanna plug it in. I know I have a cigarette lighter in my center console. I also have one here, but I just leave that one alone because I don't think this will fit without and that closing at the same time. So I'm gonna clean out my center console, get all the napkins and stuff out of there, and then we'll start running these wires and everything. So should be simple. And also I forgot to mention this has a remote so you can turn it on change the colors and everything like that also too on these there's a smart app so that way you can connect it with your phone and just change the colors and do all sorts of things with your phone as well which is very nice i've already used it and it's very quick links up to your phone very simple so all right so i cleaned all my napkins and everything out of there now i'm gonna open this so we can plug this in this should be nice and simple to do so Really all I'm going to do is just plug this end into the cigarette lighter and then I got my dash cam here and I also have my underglow too in here and then I'll have those strips so this 3-1 will be perfect for this. Alright so I got that thing plugged in, the triple thing, whatever you want to call it, the cigarette lighter with three things on it. I got that plugged in and I double sided taped it to the side. And now I got all this wire and everything like this. Kind of looks like a cluster right now, but I'll have to get it organized. I'm probably gonna have to, um, I already got a slot in here. So I'll probably run my wire through here somehow. So that way I can run it in here without having to expose it anywhere else. So let me try to figure out that because there's no easy way to like splice into this. So I gotta either shove all the wire through or get the cigarette lighter through somehow. All right, you guys, so I just want to give you a quick update of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So when I ran my dash cam, if you guys see down there, I have like a, a cut cutout down there. So I'm running. I made the cutouts actually big enough to fit these strips through. And since they're flexible, it's easy to push through. Um, I unbolted this. So there were two bolts, one right there and one over there. Just two 10 millimeter bolts. I unbolted it. And then I just popped off a couple plastic pieces over there in the front. And now I can pretty much lift my whole center console up. And now what I'm doing, I'm just taking the strip and just pushing it through. Um, kind of got to use two hands, but push it through and flex it. And while you're doing that, just lift up and feel it coming out. I've already got the, the left side done. Now I'm going to get the right side done and push them over here. And then I'll bolt this all back down so that way it looks nice again. But this way, doing it like this, you won't have any wires um, coming off from the side. They'll literally just be coming out from the bottom and you won't even see them coming out from the bottom. So that's why I'm doing it like this. All right, guys. So I got the wires ran through here. I mean, it looks okay. It's not the cleanest because of the remote and all the excess wire. But I mean, you're never going to look inside of there. But then I got the wires running. I got one running from the back side here, and then I got another one running over there. So now what we're going to do, these are in series, so there's going to be a short one, 
that connects that we're gonna put under here. We're most likely just gonna zip tie everything under the seats because there's definitely not gonna be any place that I know that we can tape under there since it's all fabric. And then the rest of this, we're gonna take and just run it underneath the plastic trim and the door trim over there and then we're gonna get under the footwell over that way so it should be good I mean they look nice and like I said you can change the color to whatever you want they're super bright and I think they're gonna look really good with the the floor mats now cleans up the floor definitely from over here you can see and so I'm gonna zip tie these under the seats but I'm gonna have to be honest with you I have no idea um where I'm actually going to zip tie them to because I can't see anything but I can feel there's, there's like some wiring harnesses I'll probably just zip tie it to that and that way it, it'll be fine I mean you're just zip tying a wire next to another wire so I mean I don't feel any brackets that are going to be easily oh well I feel I feel something. I mean, I'm just letting you guys know. I'm literally doing this without looking under here. I mean, you could probably put a camera under there and look too. Oh, I guess I feel two brackets. They're probably like, I don't know, three inches from the back of the seat. Maybe, nah, they might be too far apart. So, I don't know. Well, I'm just going to do this. Just when you guys do this, just make sure the LEDs are facing downwards. Alright, so I got the first one secured. Feels pretty good. I'm going to take all this extra wire, I'm going to shove it under the seat, and go to the front now. Alright, so I got it pulled up on the side of the seat. Now pretty much all I'm going to do is pop off this panel here. And then can run this in here. I'll probably throw another zip tie in here to hold it together. You can see all the other wires I've ran through here. All right, and on the front ones, I'm gonna use the double-sided tape. Um, there isn't like a good, good place to um, screw them in, but if I need to, there's just a thin plastic plate down here that I can put a couple holes in and I can put zip ties in if I need to, but I'm just going to keep it like this and now I'm going to cut all these zip ties real quick and we'll put all the trim back together. All right, now I got all the trim panels back on, snap them in place and now you don't see any wires at all. Alright, so I just finished the passenger side. Not sure if you can see it. There's uh, the rear seat. And then you can see the two over there that they're pretty bright. I mean, especially during the day right now. So there's the back side and the front side. So right now it's not like super bright because it's still really, really sunny out here. But I mean, the insulation is pretty clean. You can see there's a little wire right there. Um, the, another good way that you could probably do it is poke a hole in the, in the carpet and run it under there into here. But for now, I'd say that's pretty clean. And then you don't even see any wire over here. So, all right. So now with that being done, let's hop on the other side. Let's get that done real quick. All right. And I just want to say thanks for Vaunt to want to, um, send me out these lights to test. So like I said, they're a fairly cheap light. I think they're like 15, 20 bucks. I'll be putting their link down below. So that you guys can order. I believe you can order it off of Amazon. And they're cheap lights, but they're nice lights. And they offer a, a lifetime warranty as long as you register them. And they're very bright, quality, good quality, plug and play lights. So, and for the price, you can't beat it.
Alright guys, so again it's um this is a light outside, so they're not like the brightest, but you can see with the door is closed, it's still kind of dark in here, and you can see them shining. There they are on the on the driver's side. They look really nice against the pedals, so and then the back. So they look really good. One thing that I was telling you about is you can download an app and you can forget what it's called. Oh, you can download the Vont Home app. So then when you get the app downloaded, it'll ask you to do a bunch of things. It'll find the lights and then you can just click on them. They will connect. Then we can turn them on. And then you got all these options to change the color. And you can see how instant it is when I just press the color changes. So, and then you can put them to music. So it's like you talk or whatever, you can hear me talking. It's flashing along with the me talking or the music. You can create all sorts of different color patterns, everything like that. Um, it has full RGB, so just slide it over to whatever color you want. And it's changing all of them at the same time. So it's really nice, very efficient. So, I mean, these people vaunt, they make a lot of smart lighting for, like, your house, but they ended up getting into the car game, and I think they did a pretty good job on it so far, so for the price, at least, they're really nice. So, with all that being said, if you guys are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's just one simple click. Just click on it real quick. And also smash that like button too. With all that being said, I'll see you guys next.